Hey guys, this is Jessica from Crafting and Stampin' at Blogspot.com and I know that we are all super stinking excited about the brand new Design Space 2.0 and being able to work with our iPads, with the iPad app. It is amazing. I've already started playing with it. And I want to show you for anybody who is iPad illiterate like myself, um, I called my brother in an absolute panic who knows absolutely, when I said a cricket machine, he thought I was talking about an actual bug. Um, but not the bug I'm talking about, so <laughs> I needed to go to my go-to IT guy. Um, and maybe not everybody has that, but I wanted to share with you what he showed me, and I wanted to do this as a um, Bluetooth for Dummies along with me because I include myself in the Bluetooth for Dummies, so I'm just simply sharing. So here's what you need to do. Does your iPad um, have Bluetooth compatibility? Let's see. So here's what you do very bottom of your iPad screen, if you just flick up, you're going to get this little toolbar and hopefully you can see. There we go. Okay. So there's airplane mode. We don't need that. There is my Wi-Fi on. We need that. Here's my Bluetooth. If it's grayed out, it means it's not on. If it's grayed, it is on and it is ready to go. It's that simple. Hit your little arrow down and get out of that screen. Now, if you had the previous um, Design Space app where it allowed you to make just the Make It Now projects, you need to go to your App Store and you need to go to Cricut. Oops, you can't see that. Let's zoom in a little bit here. Okay, mine says open, but if you did not update, if you just had the other app before they did or after they did the update, you it will say update in this little box. So once you go ahead and click it and hit update, it literally took me about a minute. That quick, it was done. So here is the open. Whoops, I wanted to show what this looked like from the very beginning. So let's uh, sign out. Okay, so pretend that that was already signed out. <laughs> <laughs> so when you open it, this is what you come to. I'm going to go ahead and hit sign in. I'm going to type my username. And just give me one second so I can type in my password. And then I'm going to hit sign in. Okay, it's logging me in. Now, what you can do is pull in, let's work with, let's, let's go to what it'll actually look like when you first hit your screen, okay? Now, what mine did, it told me, it pretty much walked me through making sure I was linked to my Explore. So, let's go to, Machine setup, okay? This is actually what it did look like. So I should have started the video with this, but I kind of forgot. You can go to an app overview or you can go to new machine setup. So let's just see what happens if we go to new machine setup, okay? So it'll say get started. It'll even tell you to go to the system settings on your iPad, but I just showed you the quicker way. Flick it at the bottom, okay? Select your Bluetooth, turn it on, go under your device, your under devices, select your Cricut machine. Now, I'm going to tell you another thing. If you um, already have an Explore, you do not need the Explore Air to work this. All you need is a Bluetooth, okay? And in my group, I love my bug, we're giving away a Bluetooth thanks to Cricut, okay? They are donating a Bluetooth for somebody to upgrade their machine. All you need to do is, oh uh, gosh, where's the little cap at? Here we go. I'll show you how it looked. Um, I took it out of the little package and it had this little cap on it. And once again, for me, I had no idea how to open it. I was like, what the heck am I supposed to do? You see this little white tap? You just, there's little bars and you're just going to slide it up. Now me, queen of no nails, I have to flick it up a little bit and you're going to put it in face up. See the arrow and put it right into the right hand side of your Explore. 
I will put mine back, back in and show you where it goes really quickly. Okay. See it over there? It's all lit up. It's right here. Super easy. Okay. So let's come back down and look at our app. All right. Now it tells you everything you need to do. Very simple. Let's go ahead and connect device. Found my Cricut. Now, I don't know if it's gonna ask me for my password. Okay, after this part, it would ask you for a password or the PIN and, my, and it tells you it's zero, 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 zero. Okay, very easy. Now, you can make a thank you card, okay? It tells you, you can go ahead and make this. If you hit continue, it'll tell you what to do. I mean, literally step by step. Take the plastic off your mat, put the card sock on your mat, position it, keep the mat pushed in and push it against your rollers and hit go. It tells you about loading the pen. Um, I don't want to make this. Um, yeah, I don't want to make this, but if I were to hit go, I could go ahead and hit go and it's telling me to load my mat. So you know what? We're going to do this just because. So let me get a piece of cardstock here. We're just going to use red because I just happen to have it. And this is actually my um, first test cut in the Design Space 2.0 from my iPad. I haven't had a chance to cut yet. Oh gosh, I hope I don't lose that now. Woo. And don't mind my severely dirty mat. It needs to be cleaned. I just got done making 20 Jiminy Crickets for a swap that I'm in. So anybody that's in the swap, the sidekick swap, you're going to get one of mine. And it, my mat looks like this now. Ah! Okay, so anyway, let's go ahead. Let's refocus here. Let me move my... Okay. So let's see if I can do this with one hand. Now my machine is blinking like it wants me to go ahead and load the mat. Sorry, it's out of focus. It's because of the way I'm holding the camera, but it's hard to load. Oh gosh. Okay. So, oh my goodness, look what it said. It picked up that I loaded. Come on. So it picked up that I loaded it. It wants me to load a pen. So I'm just going to pick, um, let's go with silver because I think the silver will pick up on the red. So I'm going to take the pen cap off. See how it's got the little arrow? I just want, that means put the, put it right in the front and go ahead and push down. See how I pushed it in? I clicked it and I'm just going to move the clamp back over. Okay. So it told me pen in, hit okay. And look at that. My machine's blinking for me to hit go. Adjust your cardstock. And look at it go! Oh, look, it says drawing. And it is. Very cool. This is awesome. I'm loving the app. This might be a little bit longer of a video, but I just really want you guys to see this. Okay. Now, it should go ahead and cut. Oh gosh, hopefully my mat's sticky enough for it to pick up one. here. You know what's funny? I never made the Make It Now on my old on my first Explore because I was just so excited to go ahead and start cutting SVGs with it. Um, so I actually never made this project. So I'm making this right along with you guys. I just went ahead and did it myself. Um, pretty excited actually.
This is where I'm just going to hold my paper down. There we go. And I wonder if it's going to prompt us to put our scoring tool in to go ahead and score lines to fold our card. Let's see. Okay, look at that. It says your cut is complete. Let's go ahead and go back into it because my iPad times out. And it says unload. Let's see how it looks. Whoops. Okay. Let's try an unload and catch at the same time. Now, um, the one thing it does not remind you to do, and just let me get my camera back right, is to recap your marker. That is the only thing I wish it did do, because I can tell you I've honestly done that a ton of times, and I just kept forgetting. Okay, now, let's pull our cut off. This is a little hard to do. One hand. Oh my goodness, how cute. Okay. So, it says unload mat. Oh my gosh, it does. It says unload mat and pen. Look at that. So I'm going to hit continue. Now it's going to tell us to assemble our project. And now we can go ahead and start creating. We can go to our app overview. Hello. My fingers don't want to work tonight. Okay, so Cricut Design Space shows you your projects. Um, if you sign in with your account, you can go to your projects. You can design. Um, this gives you um, tap, tap and hold, double tap, swipe, two finger swipe. This is perfect and actually, you know what, I'm going to give you another quickie iPad. Um, one, two, three. If you hold the, let's see if I can get my fingers here. Okay, so you see this, your little button, your home button? And the, sorry, the top of the iPad up here. I just wanted to take a picture of that so I can remember it. Um, your mat preview and go. And there you go. Bluetooth connection for Explorer. It tells you how to work it and everything again. So awesome. Very, very cool. So after this, I'm going to hit my X button up at the top here. And if you want to see this guide again, open the account menu and tap machine set up an app at overview. That's good to know. So here's our landing page. We can start a new project from scratch. That is new because you know why. Um, on the last app, all you could do was make it now. This allows you to make a, a project from scratch. Um, it does say a project already exists on the canvas. Do you wish to keep the previous project or replace it with the new project? Oops, that won't come up. Um, that's just because I was messing around with it last night. So let's say I had a project I was working on and I want to, whoops, and I want to open it. So if I go here, I think it's here. Is it there? Where did I find it? Ah! Oh! Oh, here we go. My projects. My projects, rather. Okay. So, I have a bunch of projects that I have saved on here. Okay. Um, so, let's say... Um, I don't have any that I... Okay, let's just start a new project. But there's all my projects, which is good to know. This is cloud-based, so it's picking up whatever I have saved on my Cricut Design Space, I'll be able to play with on here. But if I want to start with a new one, I can just go there. So let's go ahead and, oops. Let's go down here. Oh, gosh. See down there? It says image. Let's go ahead and hit image. This is hard to do. <laughs> okay, so I want to go to search under cartridges. So here is all the cartridges. Let's say I want to add, I want to go to Let's go to oh, my close to my heart cartridges. Where are they at? Okay, let's go in Artiste and let's look for a railroad sign, I guess. I'm just kind of guessing here. Oh, 
Okay, better yet, let's do the balloon. Okay, so all I did was click on it and it made it green and there's a check mark, you see that? And then look, it also put it down at the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit insert and there it is on my mat. Now let's say we wanna do, let's say we wanna make it bigger. We can just pull it. If say you want it to be longer, oops, we just, hold on, I'm getting used to this. Um, was it the two fingers? Nope. How did I do it? I messed around with it earlier. Oh, there we go. I can just move it in and out like this. Now look, if it was locked, you can only go like this. But say, like I said, I wanted a longer balloon. Unclick, I don't even know if you guys can see this. There we go. Okay, so see how it's locked here? Hit the unlock button and I can move this all around. I can make it real skinny, real fat, short and fat. But once I hit lock, I can just make it bigger or smaller. Okay, so let's say I want to, there, something I found out tonight, there is no hide contour on the iPad app. It's coming. It's not there yet. Um, so let's say I wanted to add that. Let's edit it. Let's, actually let's go to, um, oops, not what I wanted to do. Layers, there we go. Say I wanna change my color. There we go. We can go ahead and change the color. So if I wanna make it like, white. Let's get out of here. Let's go ahead and let's duplicate it and we'll make another one maybe green. Let's go to green. That way I know I have my two separate mats. Let's send it to cut and let's see what happens. So another project is already on the mat preview. Would you like to cancel? The current cut and replace it with your new project. Yeah, let's replace it. I bet you it's probably the make it now. So, holy cow, look how big that turned out. But that's okay. This was just for demonstration purposes. So we have that one and we have our green one. So it shows our two mats. How cool is that? And if I were to say I wanted to skip mat and not cut that one, it skipped it. All I did was hit the very bottom where it says skip. I can also not skip it. I can skip this one. And it says skipped, or I don't have to skip it. But regardless, let's go ahead and if we hit go, it'll tell us what to do. It's gonna tell me it needs my 12 by 24 mat, I'm sure, but that's okay. I don't need to worry about that right now. But did you also notice green wasn't the first mat that came up? Nope, it wasn't. It was my orange mat. That's something new. That's new, a new feature in Design Space and the iPad app. So whatever mat you're on, when you hit go, that's the one it's going to go at. So remember, we were on green, I hit go and it went to the green mat. If I hit the orange mat, go, it'll start at my orange mat. Now, for people that had design space prior to the new upload, you're going to need to get used to that because if you're like me, you always screw through your mats to make sure everything's placed right. If you can save space, you do it. And you're usually on your last mat when you hit go, it'll pick up at your last mat. So just make sure you, you don't do that anymore. You, there's no need to. Um, so if I hit go, it's, it's already asking me to load it. Look on my machine. See how it's asking me to load my paper? It's already picking up on it. It's good to go. So I'm going to actually cancel out of this. I'm going to, oh look, see, here you go. Here's the other thing. Um, if you were to set your canvas, uh, I had a girl in my group um, let me know this because I didn't get a chance to play with this yet. If you set your canvas to a shirt or anything that requires iron on vinyl, or if you put your dial to iron on, it's gonna make sure it reminds you to make an uh, to check this off for iron on. That's huge because I can't tell you how many things I have messed up with what I do um, because I forgot to check that. So that's really, really big. So 
we're just gonna go oh let's see what happens if I do that oh look I can switch the <gasps> very cool oh my god that's so cool okay so I don't know if you guys just saw what I did let me let me show you that was just something I touch because you know I have to touch things okay so right here at the top it says edit all I did was hit edit and I moved this like that <gasps> look at that you can switch the order so look I moved my green mat in front that's awesome that's something new as well so I'm gonna go ahead and hit done because I don't need to do that anymore um, so if I go ahead and hit my project oops back to my design that'll take me back because I didn't want to cut this remember so um, oops hold on ah my fat fingers it won't work okay that's okay I was gonna try and do something here oh there we go there's what my mat looks like oh maybe okay well that's still cool um, don't mind me what I was just doing I was just messing around anyway so let's see what else we can mess with um, layers will take us to our colors um, let's go back to actions I'm kind of skipping around here so you have to highlight an item and the actions will appear darker for things that you can actually do with this so if I wanted to flatten it to just make it a print and cut image hold on here's what we're gonna do we're gonna adjust my camera here so I can show you um, kind of got it stuck How do you like that image? Okay, let's see now. There we go, much better. So, what I was showing you was, if you highlight the image, which I just did, and if you go down here under actions, it'll show you darker what you can do with it. So what I did was, this wasn't on, okay? So you see how flatten is on? If I go ahead and hit flatten, and I come up here, look what just happened that was a scissor like the green but it went to print and cut so now if I go ahead I can't see what I'm touching sorry okay so I made that I don't know what I'm, I can't see what I'm doing. I'm sorry. That was probably a bad idea. But anyway, I wanted to show you the little printer. I was hoping it would have came bigger, but I'll just hold it closer. I just made that a print image. If I hit unflatten again, or unflatten, it'll take it back to. There we go. Where I can print, cut, write, score. And let's go back to cut but I could print it and I can change the color so let's say I want to make it brown I just changed it to brown I'm hoping I'm not making you guys dizzy I'm really trying hard it's hard to show an iPad app with a camcorder so anyway you could do that everything is pretty much exactly the same with the exception of you cannot hide contour on the iPad app I asked that question tonight in the live chat with um, the Cricut guys uh, and that is not there yet it is coming but just not there yet so anyway so there's your action so anything you can do with the, your particular image that you have selected will be down there okay um, edit will allow you to change your height your width if you want to flip it um, sometimes like for instance if I was doing balloons maybe I want one to look like that I might want the other one to be kind of backwards um, maybe I want to flip one upside down because it's flying away so let's make it go like that I don't think it would fly upside down but yeah I'm just saying even though you could even that was a bad um, image to do that too because it's a balloon so you can change it anyway but anyway um, if I wanted to 
I'm not entirely sure what the sync button does. Oh, sync is the same, it's the same thing. You can say I like, really like the green that I'm using. I can move my brown down here and now I have two greens. It works the same way as your color sync in Design Space. Um, layers, uh, well, there is no layers um, other than my greens, um, but it'll show you right there. Undo, I just undid my making it green, which was my last thing that I did. Redo. Well, there we go. I just made it both green. If I wanted to save it, I would go up there to the little save button. I don't want to save this project. Um, if I want to do delete that particular balloon, just come down here and hit delete. Um, and yeah, I think that's about it. I'm sorry, I feel like I'm really making you guys dizzy. Let's um, let's move this back down, shall we? Let's see. And maybe if I can just zoom in a little bit. There we go, maybe that'll work a little better. Okay, there we go, that works a little better. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much, um, oh, you can do text. So I just hit the little text button down here. Whoa. And it pulled in. I can type in Jess. I can go to my different font names right here. Okay. Um, all It picks up on all of my, my um, Cricut fonts in here. Um, let's see. Create, oh wow, it's got the whole creative memories name there. Let's have close to my heart. Yay, I can see all my close to my heart. Art booking, RT, Startfully sent. Oh, chalkboard font. It'll tell you ones that you don't own. See how it says $4.99 for chalkboard font there for me? I don't own that one. Um, that's pretty cool. You can do all of your fonts as well. Um, you can space it. You can change your height and width. You can rotate. Everything you can do in Design Space is here. It's great. And all I did was just hit the little um, down keyboard to get out of that. Um, so yeah, I think we're good. So anyway, guys, that's my quick crash course um, for the iPad app. I hope that helps you um, because, like I said, my biggest concern was that I didn't even know if I was able to use my iPad and I was able to figure it out right away. It linked up in a second and it was all done. So I think I'm going to go ahead and get my more videos uploaded and um, since I had a horrible time yesterday trying to do it, but um, hopefully this will work. So be sure to keep checking back on my YouTube channel and thank you so much for watching. Hope you're having fun with your iPad and Design Space 2.0. And if you're watching tonight, midnight, go ahead. If you don't own an Explorer, you're gonna wanna get the Explorer Air. If you already own an Explorer and you can't get the Explorer Air, it's no problem. Um, I'm giving away a Bluetooth um, adapter in my I Love My Bug group. I will put the link down below. Um, and if you don't win, you can go ahead and get the Bluetooth adapter. It will work just the same as the Explorer Air. The only difference is gonna be the color. Um, and the Explorer Air has the Bluetooth already built in. Um, and of course, the Anna uh, digital content. There's gonna be all new Anna Griffith um, content. So uh, be sure to watch HSN starting at midnight Eastern Standard Time. Um, so thank you so much for watching. Hope to catch crafting and stamping. Bye.